Hello everybody! Hi! Welcome, welcome, welcome to episode 2 of Jungle Crawl Classics, a Dungeon Crawl Classics slash Tomb of Annihilation hybrid mashup uh, super campaign. Um, I'm Eric, your your host and, and game master, your judge today. I uh, hope you're all doing well and had a great holiday. Um, uh, mine was pretty good. I uh, went and did a complete tour of the East Coast, basically. I went started in Virginia for a, friend's, uh, a family wedding, and then went up to New York to visit my sister, then went down to Philadelphia, and then down to DC, and then to Baltimore, and now I was then in Maryland for a little bit more, and then flew back out here to Seattle the other day. And uh, with me, along with some good cheer and family fun, uh, is a cold, so I have a cold, everybody. What's up? I'll try to mute my mic when I sneeze, and I obviously you can probably hear I'm a little congested, but other than that, I'm super happy to do this and happy to finally get back to playing more uh, GCC. So, uh, or JCC. Yeah, J Justice, whatever. Yeah, give CC. Yeah, we're good. Kika, how are you? How are your holidays? Oh, um, it was pretty great. I had really great holidays. I've been streaming some Bloodborne. I got a liar. I got a new sewing machine. I got a bunch of stuff and I made cookies with my family and we made way too many uh, cookies of way too many kinds. Mm. And my dad and I also started making mead and we did a lot of stuff. And this vacation has been amazing. Not having to worry about school for a little bit has been a great relief. Oh, I can uh, imagine. I yeah. Can completely imagine. And that's super that's, awesome. Your life yeah. is so cool. Yeah. I've written two songs on it already. Yeah, and are they available for listening anywhere? Uh, or not yet? Um, not yet. They, I still need to be able to perform them consistently. Uh, awesome. Yeah. No problem. Cool. So, Robert, how was your holiday? Uh, my holiday was fantastic. Um, I got a bunch of nerd stuff. Uh, I got like a Raspberry Pi and Google Home, and so I'm going to do a bunch of geeky tech things. That uh, I also got a like full year supply of candy and snacks. So I'm, I'm really happy. Um, yeah, I'm excited. I have a job ending soon and I'm excited to have some time to work on personal projects. So uh, yeah, that's my holidays and I'm gonna kick it off to Addiser. Hello, I'm new here. Uh, uh, I had a pretty good holiday. Uh, I did up to Christmas Eve, like six, uh, five out of six days in a bakery. Christmas Eve is so busy, uh, but I got to take home all the cookies that we make, and that's what I've been eating for the last, and pumpkin pie, and cheese rolls, and regular butter rolls. Mm. Uh, so basically, uh, it's been pretty good. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Cool. Yes. So, um, as oh, you wait, can- wait. No, no, like as you can see, oh. yeah, I was wondering real quick. Yeah, you are a new, you're a new person. I should have welcomed that and sort of said something about it. I know, no, you're right, you're right. Um, I know, it's just the yeah. So, so Adasar is is going to be our our fourth person uh, for joining us in this campaign. So, uh, yeah, special special thank you to to you. Yes, I right. am the best. That I I accept this. Thanks. Um, and uh, with that, Frank. Hello, Frank. You're a new Hi. person. Hi. Uh, my holidays are dope. <laughs> I I got Saga that graphic novel thing and it's real good it's real good and then I upped my coffee game by like ten times got a nice grinder and everything is dope oh you did yeah I'm trying to up mine too man I, I got, got a... this like six cup Chemex and like a really nice burr grinder nice. wow. what are, what <laughs> we just we'll talk about Hold it on. later but, you, but you don't live in okay. Seattle I don't <laughs> yeah I know um, yeah. <laughs> what is <laughs> hipster in st louis uh that's it that's all my i'm excited to kill some more of my characters yeah. um that's what we do here today on jungle crawl classics we, we murder we murder characters um so speaking of of murdering characters let's talk about um what happened last week or last session uh it's actually about three weeks ago because of the holidays um so i feel like it's probably a good time to to do a quick little recap so would somebody like to uh do that for us. Anybody well, remember what we did? <laughs> so uh, we started out like 15 strong, uh, found some vines that thoroughly wrecked our faces and lost about, I think, six people. 
uh, and, but not to be deterred, we continued on to the tower where we bumbled along until we uh, caught the attention of the beast men that were living there. And after much shivering and hiding, uh, we ended up charging in and slaughtering a good deal of the beast men on the surface. Um, highlights included um, a character calling Pennyworth Thistledown Penny Worthless and then immediately uh, falling on their own sword. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, the brave. Um, oh man, who was it? Was it Randy? Randy, yes. Randy, the human legend uh, who faced the Beastmen all on his own and uh, led our merry troop into battle only to be felled by a giant elephant man. That was pretty good. Pouring out for Larry. (laughs) In peace. Oh, yes. Yes, the giant elephant um, beast champion, man. Uh, so yeah, so we were we were in the uh, let me let's bring us over to the roll twenty. We're in the tower uh, right now with this the Beastman Lair. Remember there were stairs leading down uh, this place, um, as well as um, there was a bunch of you know survivors uh, and you know these these people hung up in chains from, um, from some random places and you guys have sort of um, brought them down and through their stress and. Uh, trials and tribulations they don't have much of a memory which makes them perfect zero level characters to uh refill some of the ranks of of some of us who may have lost all their characters or new people coming in uh and speaking of which so um i'll i'll leave it up to you adiser if you want to be people who are either um maybe a mix of them some of them Mm -hmm. might have been like hung upside down on the on the chains ready to be um eaten as food and and flayed uh by Mm -hmm. these beast men or they could have just been all the sound of this ruckus but uh ruckus perhaps the collapse of that back wall um that that robert (laughs) spoke about that that terrible wall yeah like it was a huge almost like an avalanche almost um Mm -hmm. you know if if this is you know i I leave it up to you if if you're just a a a random group who who comes across this or we're we're there Mm -hmm. Um, you are also joining in, in your four, and we'll get into doing our characters after after you answer that. Um, yeah, I think they were. I think they were drawn by the by the ruckus. Yeah, um, as maybe they've been uh, like on the trail of like these adventurers for a while. They passed by a bunch of flowers with corpses in them, and they stayed away because they saw fresh fighting, and they continued onto the tower. And um, yeah, you oh, sort that's of perfect. You sort of cleared the path for them, um, as it were. Oh, yeah, that's they, they haven't had to fight many people, so that's uh, that's convenient for them. They're at full health. That is that is super convenient. <laughs> uh, Perfect. Yeah. yeah. Um, so if you heard if you heard the ruckus, um, then I, I think it would be fair to say is uh, before before we get started, um, I'm going to just mention that perhaps I think I think maybe you guys came over that that back wall there, and yeah. um, there's maybe something you those... want to come back there. Too. One of those, one of those flashbacks of uh, like the wall falling down and like my people just standing behind it, like Whoa. yeah, um. <laughs> yeah. There's um, there is something that that collapse revealed that um is looks like there might be mm-hmm. something below all that rubble to to look into, but um before before we jump in and play, um let's let's do a little bit of a hey a who's who right shall we? Because there's a lot of characters and there's a lot of new yeah. ones to be introduced too, right? So um, let's let's go ahead and, and and get into this. So how about uh, Kika? How about you remind us who your surviving characters are today? My characters are Vilshondifer, the Gong Farmer, uh, who is you know human Gong Gong Farmer goes around with his trusty trowel and mirror. I have Barisand or Barsand, sorry, the Grave Digger, and Osin, the Elven Barrister who uses her tw- trusty quill and uh, has started talking about some God of shine. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, I- she also is now wearing a sweet <laughs> necklace that they got from the uh, beast champion. Yeah. I, it would be super remiss to not mention how that quill is probably the most deadly weapon <laughs> that we've had in this game. I think you killed like three beastmen with it. Is that right? Or something like something that? Something like that. Yeah. yeah. It was an insane. Uh, you were, yeah. It's also, proving that quote right. Yeah. 
Yeah. But she also has a backup dagger and two jeweled swords now. Yes. Great. Oh yeah, that's right from the uh, the regents. Yep. Cool. Awesome. About uh, Adisar, how about you tell us about your our new characters? Okay. Um. Uh, my first person is. Uh, wait, I think I may have named them wrong. I did. I got the name switched on. Oh no. Yeah. Uh. It's okay. It's okay. We'll um, fix it in post. Uh, my, my <laughs> I have a uh, a shaman whose name is uh, Carval Nashana, uh, who has a, a a headband with like a candle stuck in it because that was their item that they rolled. Um, I have a uh, elven artisan named Trillian Spire Root. I have a dwarven rat catcher named Iron Candle, not the other way around. And uh, I have a parsnip farmer named Ilya Martuk. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to quickly change those names. Yeah, cool. They're wrong. Yeah. So um, a peek behind the curtain for, for us to see these names here. I'm using a Google Doc sheet in addition so we can see everything. Because, you know, most normal D&D games don't have so many characters. So and just in order to just remember who's who mm -hmm. uh, and all that kind of stuff, we're doing it this way. Um, awesome. Thank you. And uh, Frank, how about you remind us? Sure. So at the end of the last session, all of my characters died, including Randy, the human legend. I don't remember actually what his other class was, but now he's a legend. It was legend. It was level one legend. Yeah. <laughs> and so now we are full of good characters. There's Abraham, the human wizard apprentice, who is desperately seeking for the black grimoire that he has lost while he was captured. Uh, there's Benjamin, the human parsnip farmer, who is boring. And then there's <laughs> Jimmy and Timmy, who are both brotherly human trappers. Jimmy's the lucky one. Timmy is not. Just <laughs> how are you? How would you describe yourself? Not lucky. <laughs> not as lucky. As A lucky. lifetime of being unluckier than your brother. That's how you'd start doing it. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Every time he says it, he just gives you like a cold, dead stare. There's a bit of jealousy going on there. Oh. Just, the, uh, just the faintest tinge, right? Yeah. What about you, Robert? Yeah. So um, I have three characters left alive from the last session. Uh, I have Valero Tonkers, the human costermonger who has had enough of the merchant's life and is got some bloodlust. Um, <laughs> He uh, is not happy about Randy, his new best friend's death, and uh, has just slain a giant elephant man in retribution. Uh, we have Reese Smile of Fox, the elven glassblower, who so far is not noteworthy in any way. And alive, uh, I feel like noteworthy. <laughs> let's say that they're alive. <laughs> yeah, cur currently alive, um, but not full of character and pennyworth thistledown the halfling glove maker who uh has has a lot of gumption that's yeah let's just say that they have a lot of gumption <laughs> cool all right so i'll bring us over here to the, the roll 20 screen real quick um okay. so as you guys can see we have a bunch of brand new tokens um <laughs> the art is courtesy of adiser which is super awesome. Um, and if you can't, if you want uh, Frank and Robert, um, I know, I know, I just got them finished right now. Uh, you can go <laughs> ahead and um, modify those template names and and just add um, your name to their respective characters there. And I have the little check boxes set up so um, the nameplates will show just like everyone else. Yeah. So how cool is that? So now we'll remember who's who when everything's going. Yeah. Awesome. So yeah. Those brothers look alike. So. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love Timmy and Jimmy. All right, so <laughs> let's um let's talk about it. So we're we're in the we're still in this tower, right? Oh, let me get some let me get some nice ambiance going, right? Remember, uh, there's a staircase leading down from this tower. Um, and from beneath that staircase, you can hear off in the distance through the reverberating of the stone, um, is these loud uh, rhythmic drumming. Um, but it smells really bad down there too. Um, the rest of this place, there's a bunch of um, 
old hides of and, and furs of animals that are still tanning and if you ever smelled uh hides that are being tanned it is the worst smell in the entire universe i'm pretty sure um so you guys are currently chilling in probably the worst smelling room that's all hot and sticky and full of half tied uh half hide tanned hides um and i guess i should also mention that you know you probably have the door open just to get some sort of like air in here even though it's pretty wretched out 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 in the mosquito ridden courtyard anyways but also remember in the courtyard um there's some fire licked ruin um with the doors that say repent that are sealed on the outside of it um there's that back wall that i said it seems it might be a little interesting there's a well um yeah and that weird sinkhole with the with the strange smoke coming out of it yeah, there's so much so there's a lot around here to do i love um, these cards yeah, I'm trying to like th make it so it's a little easier to uh, remember everything, yeah. especially in a dungeon, because I don't want to draw a map and like do all that kind of stuff. I prefer a little bit of this more abstract style, and so yeah. I hope I hope that works for everybody. Um, so, yeah, we're all in the tower. We're all we're so, all chilling right now. While they're chilling, can my my people just like like Scooby Doo style like stick their head around the corner to see what's going on, like in a stack of people. Oh, like, yeah, into the tower? Yeah, just sort yeah. of, like, look at everyone, because they weren't involved in the last bit of fighting. No. Uh, they just, they just like, just happened to come upon it, like... Yeah, well, you probably, you, you came across several dead beastmen bodies in the courtyard. Oh, yeah. And then you come in here and see what the hell killed those things, and you see yeah. just a, oh, <laughs> you know, a, a <laughs> so small squad <laughs> of, of, of people just sitting here, exhausted, panting, probably. There's a dead mm -hmm. elephant man with a spear in the back of its neck, and Valera's like, yeah... <laughs> and there's like four characters trying to find clothes to put on right now. <laughs> yeah. So. Um. Yeah. What do you guys want to do? What do you see when you see uh, four new pe new new um, people show up? Osin would probably almost reflexively throw her quill at them, <laughs> but like stop herself at the last minute. Mm -hmm. Like. Timmy just says, "You couldn't have come a little quicker." Oh. <laughs> So, sorry, I think the uh, the dwarf is just like I I I am um, little eggs. Uh, sorry, I, uh, the stairs were a bit of a trouble uh, going up this courtyard and uh, had all those bodies to look at first. Uh, we didn't want to interrupt anything. Uh, just to figured you guys had to look. You got uh, the guild elephant band. That's exciting. Um, I think. Valera would like pick up the elephant man's axe. Like, oh yeah, kind of as like and almost as in response to the dwarf talk, like pick it up and kind of rest it on his shoulder. <laughs> um, that's a big and axe. be like, oh look, yeah. that, that axe, uh, that's um, that's good for you. Yeah, and it's just like they'll peek around, and the other three are just like like sort of like gaze around, like things. So, there any other there any treasure? I like, uh, maybe just no. All right. That's cool. We didn't fight. It's fair. Um, sort of murmuring to themselves. Um, uh, do you have weapons? Valero would say. Uh, some. Uh, and uh, they. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Sorry, this is a lot. Uh, kind of like holds up what is obviously like a branch that still has like some green leaves sticking off of it because they didn't clean it off very well. Like, I have a club. Uh, and. Uh, We've a, we've a staff, which is also like a long stick with some leaves sticking out the top, like a branch. And uh, our, our our shaman has a mace. And the shaman steps forward and it's like kind of burnt at the end. Like it was a club, but then they, they burned it and like put a cooking pot on the end. They just jammed it on it. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. that's good. <laughs> Uh, Osin just nods approvingly and is like, well, I've learned you can do a surprising lot with a very little, she says, brandishing her quill, even though she has these like two ornate swords like in her <laughs> belt. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, Valero would, would say, well, get creative or get new ones. Because these... These things, the route for blood. And he, I think he'd like, a, like look longingly at Randy. <laughs> <laughs> or 
for the at- arms of an angel. <laughs> uh, so I used to have a cow. Oh, yeah, we passed a cow in the woods. Was that yours? Yes. Yeah. Which way was it going? West. Yeah. Well, they saw it through the trees. It was, you know, after those flowers, so he didn't want to take any chances. Did it have a falcon with it? No, not that I know. And it like, looks at Trillium. And Trillium just like, oh. <laughs> maybe. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Poor duck. <laughs> we know you're out there. Yeah. They'll meet in a bar and have a detective agency. It is confirmed. Um, yeah. They shrug. They like begin to like shuffling. I was like, what's uh How's it, uh, oh, I gotta, think we should, how's it going, then? You, uh, need new hands? And they, like, had a look at Randy. Now that you've, mm. yeah. <laughs> just, like, look at the body, just sort of, like, shuffling in awkwardly, like, mm, to, uh. I, I think Pennyworth, who has been, like, kind of mildly searching the room, kind of would pipe up and be, like, more hands are never, never uh, bad. Unless Especially they're if they're holding weapons. <laughs> ah, sorry. Yes, killing us is bad, but if they are hands for killing enemies, that's good. Especially if they're holding weapons. Uh, Abraham, the wizard child person, is doesn't care about any of this and is trying to find the book in this room or immediately outside the room and that may or may not be getting Abraham into trouble right now. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, no. Um, would you say Abraham's looking in the courtyard? Yes. Totally. Um, so Abraham finds something special. Okay. Um, in the courtyard, uh, maybe like around the bodies of the beastmen and stuff like that. Like you move one of those dead cheetah people like off this this rock. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, yeah, there's a, weird, there's a weird little engraving on this rock, which is probably why, um, you know, it felt a little... You know, uh, I don't know, a little, little sense, a little, little tug of fate towards this. Um, you, you pull away like that, and you, you maybe there's a little... It's still pretty bright outside right now. And perhaps there's a little faint twinkle beneath the bramble and brush and, and the jungles and the weird primordial ferns that, you know, are in this jungle. Um, you push them away, and there's this long flagstone. And, uh, yeah, there's there seems to be some kind of etched phrase on it, but it's in a language I don't think um, you would know offhand. Okay. Despite my wizardry background, I mean, you can. Do you? Would you want to try? Um, sure. Get it. Sure. Yeah. It's a. It's a little quip. Um, yeah. So, so you study it for a little bit and uh, make an intelligence check for me. Oh, wow! Is the wizard is so dumb. <laughs> what? Is, what's their intelligence? Seven. Nailed it. Um, it's probably why they lost their book. <laughs> yeah. For real. Um, and their master. Yeah. Um, you're not. Yeah. I don't think. Uh, you, I might think I know what it says. You, yeah. You think you know what it says. <laughs> and it says. Um, um, only. Only. You, you know, it says something about death. And it says, like, don't open unless dead. Like, that's that's what you think it says. Okay. And you're like, I, what? <laughs> well, I can't open that. I'm not dead. So. Uh, don't open. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't dead open inside is what it says <laughs> on the, yeah. uh, on the, on the, on the flagstone. So. If the other characters come you know, out. It's I'll... old. Uh, you know, this is as old as this place. Uh, I'm assuming that some of the other characters are roaming out into this thing to get away from the stench a little bit. Yeah. And so as soon as any of the characters do, I mean, uh, Abraham will look up and says, don't open that. You have to be dead. That's what it says. I th- what? I th- <laughs> he's like, yeah. like confident. Yeah. I think Elia <laughs> like comes up behind you and he's like, what, what did you find there? It's it's a thing. Just You're not dead, so don't open it. Um, can- El Fur would like to take a look, too. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, um, looks. Yeah. Mm. I only uh, yeah. Comment. And I want to do a fret because we also haven't played in three weeks or whatever. Fresh reminder of this whole place. You know, this entire castle and kingdom uh, or like this, this castle in general used to be an old stronghold of some evil. And then there's some hero um, came out, you know, this is like thousands of years ago and basically like 
purified it or like like was able to like strike down the evil here um only now there's been rumors about it rekindling right um so that's what you know about this place so you know this place was originally bad and not good and this is as this sign this this wording here is as old as 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 the rest of this place so anyways yeah so um Brasonifer, you want to you want to look take a look at it and uh who Addisar, who yes. who was who of you was looking at it um i think Ilya is talking to so okay uh, I'm sorry, I just, yeah this is so yeah. Belshondifer. Belshondifer. um uh, but I think the person looking at it is the uh, the quiet elf, Trillium Spire Root, because she uh, she doesn't really uh, she looks before she talks, unlike uh, Caval or Iron yeah. Candle. <laughs> yeah, cool. Um, so good job. No, uh, that's uh, Kika. That was enough. Vashanover, you get it on their first try. Uh, I think probably also it might have been a little bit. Uh, it's up to you how you want to how you want to throw it out. But uh, you know, don't don't dead open inside is a pretty close. Uh, it says <laughs> till death shall pass. That's what it says. Till it's, death shall pass. Is that it? Yeah, and you you know it's sprawled in the um, you know this is ancient uh ancient chaotic. Um, it's it's written in, in in a very very like you know Mordor black tongue style chaos, right? Uh, didn't we used to have a guy that spoke chaos? I think I think you did. <laughs> He's probably dead. Chaos is dead. Yeah, he was the one who decided yeah. to try to talk to the beast men. Mm -hmm. Yeah, chaos oh. and law are languages. Oh right, yeah, you can speak your alignment. Yes. Yeah, he's definitely dead. Oh, yeah. Poor Randall's like, I know what it says. <laughs> I don't know which character of mine it was, but they're not here any longer. I think he yeah. was the one with the hawk. Or the that was Randy. Randy. Yeah, it was yep. Randy. <laughs> Poor Randall. What a legend. Oh, man, if only Randall was still alive. Well, Shondafer yep. says. Yeah. So there's, this, there's a stone here. Yeah. So, um, till dust shall pass. This is a big flagstone, by the way. You know what I mean? Like, this is the size of a door. Okay. And is it in a it's wall, like, then? No, no, like, it's laying flat. It's in the it's oh. in the earth. Oh. Okay. Um, yeah, there was, like, a dead body and some bramble and stuff on it. And, and we, we pushed that aside. And that's when you, you kind of, like, move it around. Almost like a, like, a, not like, I don't want to say grave marker, because it's not a, it doesn't have anything yeah. to do with the grave marker. But that's just, like, what it kind of looks like. Okay. It's really it's weird a that the dead body didn't mm -hmm. open it. You mean you're supposed to be dead to open it? It's crazy. I think, uh... Maybe... Maybe, uh, if you open it, you become dead. Try it. No. I, Iron Candle speaks to him. like, Oh, I don't, uh... I don't, I don't know about, uh... Opening stones with warnings on them. I, uh... It's kind of not a... Not a good thing for my people to do. It's... But maybe, I mean. Well, Shondover says, but oh. there might be treasure underneath. <laughs> I think their eyes twinkle a little bit, and they like adjust their hat, and they're like, "Well, I mean, you know, nothing ventured, nothing gained." Uh, Jimmy says, "If we're not here to open doors that have warnings on them, what are we here for? What to if murder beast men? Let's get I, in there." Yeah, I could, I could try to bust it. I mean, I'm pretty strong in myself, but uh, Jimmy's well, gonna try to open it. Yeah. Or lift it or something. Yeah, it's yeah. going to require a lift or like a bunch of people like yeah. pulling it or pushing it off. Jimmy uh, could convince right? Jimmy to help if he needs to, but yeah. it's a, like it's a massive stone. Iron Cannon yeah. is definitely down. Does anybody have any uh, rope? I think what? I have a net in trade good. Yeah, if you wanted to use your net here, then there's no roll required if you just want to fashion your net around and help pull yeah. the stone off, right? That makes perfect sense. Yeah. Yeah. Iron yeah. Candle like like pulls out this rope and then like snaps it and it unfurls into a net. And they're like, all right, how about this? Yeah, no, that's perfect. So um, you you all work together and pull this stone off of um, <laughs> uh, like off. It, it seems to be like a capstone to a to a small little like um. It doesn't. It just it just seems like a, a very nice hole that goes about three and a half feet deep. 
Um, there's a bunch of like worms and stuff on it right now, but you can definitely see that there's some sort of like spotted leather, um, like a spotted hide, like a like a like a leopard. Um, it's but it, it, rather than like the orange and black leopard fur, this one is white and black, or maybe like with like traces of silver uh, in it as well. Um, and like, you can kind of see that in like as, as like the earth and stuff has kind of started covering it. You see a little, like a little millipede runs off of it and runs down. But yeah, there seems to be like some kind of weird fur thing in here. Mm -hmm. Barson it doesn't uh, look like a look. What I'm saying is, it does not have the shape of a body. It just yeah. has. It just you just Barson see a little bit. Barson still of it. has his holy water ready just in case. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think the shaman, uh, Kaval, the shaman steps forward and is like, like kind of like, uh, shakes their cooking pot and mace. Yeah, and then like focuses a lot and tries to sense any evil or ghostly presence even though i mean they yeah this whole place this whole place to... is bad yeah this whole thing like... this place this place has super bad juju like yeah. real bad but um yeah. yeah is somebody wanting to go after whatever is in here or are you gonna leave it here or what i guess barson might keeping his uh holy water ready in one hand ready to like yeah go at it he reaches you... with his other hand yeah. and grabs it you pull out. It's a it's a sack. It's a bundle uh, wrapped in this this fur. Um, it's it's still tied up with some very 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 old rope that looks like if you if you would touch it it would break. He yeah, pokes is, at it's it. It's a hide wrapped bundle. Yeah, you hit it and it, it unfurls um, a little bit, and the first thing that pops out of it is a little idol. Shaman like jumps back I, no, and, like, say, yeah. holds their club. Um, with the cooking pot. I say idol because it depicts um, a, as best as you could tell, a bug man with boobs and six six eyes. And you're not... Hmm? Uh, ah, you're like, a fertility weird. idol. Yeah, that's the best thing you can think of. Uh, Barson looks up at the shaman and is like, you want this? Timmy says, "Can I? can I have that? A shaman like, like, like a hand darts out and like snatches it up, and just like holds it really close to their face. Yeah. Um, what? Do you want to like recognize? Could I yeah, try to? You, you totally, totally determine. Yeah. Um, its origin? Yeah. So are you? Yeah. What does it? What does it look like when you do that? Is that something uh -huh. like you're calling on your previous training, or is it yeah. um, your your knowledge? Just just general knowledge. Mm -hmm. Um, what do, what do you think? Kind of to determine what kind of shaman they are. I think they um, yeah, flavor it and then yeah. We'll I think they're a they're a shaman of uh, like the spirits of lost items, like how in mm. some like some Japanese culture, if a thing lives yeah. for like exists for a hundred years, it gets a spirit and can come alive. Yeah. Yeah, I think totally. they're they're sort of like that. Like it's why they're like all their stuff is made of junk. Um, oh, that's yeah. so cool! So it's not necessarily you know what this is about. It's it's the mm -hmm. fact that it was been lost for hundreds of years. Yeah, yeah, that's so the good. Fact that it was left um, behind, and they're sort of reading that. Yeah, the, the longing to be found on it. So by by sensing what the item yeah. wants to be found by, they can like reverse figure yeah. out what kind of thing it is. Um, yeah. 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 So. so. Um, I think I think while you channel that, first of all, um, mm -hmm. you start coughing, mm -hmm. um, but you're okay. Like you're you're okay, but like you think it's related to the idol by by like mm -hmm. trying to channel what it's about. You start coughing, but um, mm -hmm. if you want to, then um, I think that's probably what do you think is that a, a personality? What do you what kind of? I think it's probably um, a personality test. Yeah, I think it's a personality thing. Yeah. So, um, so 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 real personality. Is it just a d twenty with no modifier because? What's your personality modifier? It's it doesn't have a modifier. It's yeah, then it's, 12, so it's so. just just a d twenty. Okay. Uh, you said it's twelve. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh yeah, that's super good. Oh, no, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No. Um. So, based on based on what that is, and I think you maybe get like a slight vision of like a a like a almost like a plague of locusts, mm -hmm. uh, flying. Um. You know that this is an idol to to a some sort of avatar of chaos that's up to no good. Something about disease and 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 filth. Yeah, uh, they they Who knows? pull it away, right. and like they're not like a clean person themselves. Yeah. Uh, they sort of like like wipe it with their sleeve and then hand it over. Yeah, and they're, and they're like, you know, yeah. Be careful! It's 
Not the best thing. God, yeah, you know, the gods of law and the gods of chaos have many, many, many different names and diff- exist in different things. There's no pantheon yeah. of things. Yeah. So we don't know what this is, but you know it's bad and it's something related to chaos and disease. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they're like, I hope you um, don't get sick easily. And they just like hand it out to you after like spit shining it with their yeah. sleeve. Yeah. Oh, it's the person who asked for it before. Yeah. Timmy says, is it lucky? For some. Perhaps. Timmy takes it and pockets it as best he can. <laughs> yeah. No, poor buddy. Um, All right. There's some other stuff in this in this sack as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, Barrison so, will take a yeah, look. Yeah, you, you start pushing it and making it roll out more, right? A, uh, yeah, there's a there's a long sword wrapped in this huge bundle. Um, Ooh, it's not it does, it's not sheathed, right? Super. Excited. It's it's just it's a nice long long sword, and it's got that um. Uh, there's a term to it. Uh, Damascus steel, right? It's got that like wavy, milky kind of like uh, type steel to it, um, as well as a uh, a couple like jewels encrusted in the the pommel of this sword. There's no uh, there's no marking or smith on it or anything. It just is a very 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 nice sword. It could fetch a pretty penny, at the oh, very least. Shondafer would ask for that. There's a uh, yeah. And then I got someone else, Jax. Yeah. I feel like I'd rather like say the next thing and then and then you guys say it. And okay. I'll, I'll tell you what else. There's there's a lot more stuff in here too. Okay, go for it. Um. So there's there's also a uh, a quiver and bow. Um. But I feel like mm-hmm. we have with our hunters in our party. Um. You guys would know, right? So J- Timmy and Jimmy, uh, for starters, uh, Varshandifer, you would know as well. This bow is very very old and could easily break. Um. But it's. There and, and there's 25 arrows. The arrows are all have the um, they look fine like fine arrows, like they were well kept, even though they've been in the ground for this long. Um, their tips are still sharp, and they still got the black feathering, um, fletching is the word I'm thinking of, on on, on them. Um, so that's that's pretty cool. Uh, then lastly, uh, there's there's a, um, some sort of like green herb or, or like powder, like a dust, um, in it. Uh, and there's it's kind of like in a uh, a poultice bag. Uh, so I guess you're you're a shaman, um, right? Um, yeah. Is it Ella or oh, Kaval? Kaval. Kaval is the shaman, and they have like they also have a bag of herbs on them. So yeah. when you start like opening the bag, they like they check to make sure it's not their bag, and they're like, oh okay. And they they kind of yeah. put it back. Like somehow their bag got underneath in this old bundle. Yeah. Uh, they no, just, this is a great yeah. hall. Yeah, you 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 recognize yeah. this immediately what it is, oh. and this is this is a uh, a root that's really good for healing. Ooh. Um, it's powdered already. It lasts a long time. You know that if you would um, go ahead and like add water to it, like a small mm-hmm. little dose of it, you know, mm-hmm. rec- by, based on your expertise, you know that there's about 10 uses of this. There's 10 mm-hmm. uses of healing root, basically. Okay. Just add some water and drink it. Um, yeah. It's not the best tasting thing, but it can heal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, uh, it'll heal you for uh, 1d4 plus 1 hit points okay. per use. 1d4 plus 1. And there, there are 10 uses. Yeah. Uh, and then... Kval yep. just sort of like slides up next to you, just like, and it's like, if you don't uh, don't mind, uh, I could. Barson just hands. Okay. Yeah, they're like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like the clawed hands just go around and they tuck it back and they like slide away. Yeah. And, like kind of like examining it. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, I think the last big thing is actually the fur itself. Um, you know, I said it's a rare, it's a rare fur. Barson just wraps himself in the fur and sort of <laughs> yeah. like sinks down a bit as he like gets more and more enveloped in it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think uh, Jimmy will take the bow unless someone else wants it. Well, Shondafer just looks down at his trowel, the only <laughs> weapon he has. Oh, you can Ooh. take it. Uh, I mean, there yeah. should be some distribution of javelins. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> like that we ben can totally has a javelin called Bee Slayer right now. Yeah. Um but so, um, for yeah. Go ahead, Eric. No, I just want to do a point of order. because uh, I feel like you guys are hunters and maybe you probably heard about it. But um this is this is a mountain leopard. Uh specifically this is the mount this is a, a leopard that only is, is um, lives in the Mistcliff Mountains, which is um, kind of close to you guys, where you're at, I would say. It's the closest mountain range in the backdrop to the north. north. I, go, I would say like north-northwest of where you guys are in, in, in 
absolute chult map ism. Um, so you you know that it it only lives there, and so it is rare and special. That's all. Um, I'd say while these while they were like looking at the kind of uh, sack and all yeah. of the things, I I think my trio would kind of be taking like defensive position, like kind of. Uh, I'm picturing them as like kind of like rough now, like like battle or bloodied, you know, or yeah. blooded, like. Uh, and so they're like kind of on edge, kind of forming a half circle or a triangle, like around the group, like. Um, yeah, a good defensive oh, perimeter. So they're being smart. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> totally. Um, so. So uh, who does swords? We got yep. uh, we got so, a um, sword. Who does swords? Anyone want a sword? Yeah. There's a long sword, a bow, um, healing stuff, that stone idol, the fur. Yeah. I, th- I think uh, Iron Candle uh, peeps up like, oh yeah, uh, if you, I mean, if you, if nobody else is going to use it, I could, uh, I could you know, hold it for you, and I'm, I'm pretty good with a, a bladed weapon, much better with a smashing thing, but, you know, I, 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 I do trade in both. You strong? You got a good swinging arm? I'm as strong as the next dwarf. They have a 10 strength. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't have any characters that have like plus. Yeah, they don't uh, uh, modifiers to strength. I mean, Pennyworth would speak up and be like, "If if it's not too big, I, I actually I'm pretty strong." <laughs> <laughs> Everybody just slow turns to look yeah. at Pennyworth. I'm so glad I gave all the curls. I was like, I hope this character met. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, super yeah. strong. Love it. Uh, she had she has uh, 14th. 14 strength. Yep. Yeah. Arsons just holds like the sword out to Pennyworth. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Pennyworth would take it. Is it like, I mean, it's obviously not meant for a halfling, I imagine. But that means you can use it two handed. Yeah. yeah. It's like a broadsword for you. Yeah. Um, yes. Damascus. Okay. Okay. So, um, so, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So awesome. Yeah, you 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 uncover a sweet little uh, cache of treasure, and uh, some some useful things. Once again, there is that well that's that's there. There's that sinkhole that's menacing. Mm-hmm. There's, there's that chanting. weird. There's that weird. Yeah, that's there's definitely still chanting. Um, there's. Mem- uh, remember how I remarked that there's something about that back wall. Oh, um, as well, and then there's that fire licked um, ruin that's still sealed. Uh, I With guess red paint that's flaking that says "repent" in the language of law. Mm-hmm. I guess Osin would try to take a good look back at that uh, collapsed wall without getting too close, relying on her keen senses. Yeah, totally right. Yeah, um, <laughs> there's, there's, there. You you see through through sort of like uh, that that chalky dust, um, that kind of like coming out of the these ruins. You know when things fall, they they always have that sort yeah. of like chalky dust, right? Um, there's there's a a, a pretty um, fortuit, um, fortuitous sunbeam that's kind of like going down through these rocks here, and you can see that there's sort of like a um, there's a passageway under here. Um, you hey think you, if you look a little bit more, it looks like there's a you, you can kind of almost make out a door. Oh, some just a big like, door. Hey, S- hey guys, stone. guys, there's, there's a door under there. Let's okay. go down here. Let's go. Well, I mean, we got some good stuff from here, so maybe let's go. Yeah, I'm in. Okay, Jimmy opens the door. Or Timmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. Well, yeah. Hold on. Let me let me describe. <laughs> they so, just so, teleport so, there. Jimmy, and open Jimmy the door. is. Wait. Would it be Jimmy and Timmy the first ones down there to, to I look don't at? Know. It? Let's up, right. uh, Do they well, run and like fight? Run down to see who can get there first. <laughs> Stop cheating! You're cheating. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah, so That's you, you, what Sean Defer was doing. I think. Jimmy, Jimmy, Ozen, Ozen. And, Jimmy, and Timmy. You you squeeze down this little passageway. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Both of you. And um, in front of you is a strange and foreboding stone door etched with pentagrams and inscribed with circles and runes and the same language that was on that flagstone. Um, this is a this is a long passage. 
um, you like following it. You're like, and it, it kind of like sparkles with eerie twilight. Um, you try to push the and you, but you try to push the door open anyways. Yeah, I mean the last <laughs> thing had treasures. Yeah, totally. You got to push this door. You got like this door. They haven't th- learned. There's yet. no. There ain't. There ain't no fancy. There ain't no fancy like mechanism here. You're gonna like, use raw strength here to open this door, my friend. Are you cool Your with that? Athletic strength. Yeah, Jimmy and Timmy are so strong. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Um, How you want me to do that? So that one's one's helping you, right? Sure. Uh, just just roll two d twenty. Right. Cool. Um, because that's both of them making it, right? Oh, Whoa! Wow. My God, the twenty. Oh. Wait, who is that? Who was it? Who did it? Well, clearly oh, the lucky one is the one that got the twenty. Uh, okay. So Jimmy got the twenty. So it was Jimmy. So so yeah. Timmy's like getting it close, right? Timmy's getting real close. Timmy's so like then, he's feeling like today's the day he beats yeah. Jimmy. No, yeah. No. Yeah. Oh, no. Timmy's on Jimmy. the hinge side, and Jimmy's on the f- open side. Yeah. Um, you force this door open. Yeah. And as soon as you push this door open, a giant blast of flame, a roaring jet just shoots out. And I think we, we cut real quick to see like everyone else above you. Uh, mm-hmm. And we just see this huge like flame uh, like spout out. And uh, just give me a quick attack roll on you. Cool. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Sorry. What color man. is the flame? <laughs> no, nah, no, nah, it's oh. all good. Oh, it's, uh, it's, that's a good question. It's, um, what's the word when it's multiple colors? Uh, not iridescent. Prismatic. Prismatic. Thank you. Multicolor. I, yeah. get, I get iridescent and prismatic um, mixed up. So thank you. Yeah, right. it's My prismatic. My hair is rainbow. You can't tell. It's grown up. But... Red. Or- so it's like red, a lot of red, orange, and green is what I'm thinking here of this, this jet of like this, these, this trio of colors. Okay. Um, well, that's not great. Um, okay. By attack twice. Wow. Oh. Okay. Um, nice. So Jimmy is lucky. So Jimmy and Timmy, you guys are so we see we, everyone audibly gasps as as we see this huge aurora flame um, bust through, and Jimmy and Timmy are completely fine. Oh my god! <laughs> they just press up against the wall. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy just shuts up. What are you guys waiting for? Come on. <laughs> oh, Timmy's and- beard smoking a little bit. Yeah, to, to everyone, he, he panicked a bit more than. Oh Jimmy. my god! Everybody, everybody's um, yeah. There's beleaguered breath um, as as you hear your two voices as you guys are okay. Um, well, Shonda is just like, well, they're on point from yeah. now on. Before, yeah. So um, after the doors, after the door swings open and that sort of like feigning, um, the feigning embers of flame um are extinguished, um, the air gets extremely cold. Um, in, inside this room, um, like painfully cold, um, your breath is seen there, especially because it's like ninety degree, like ninety, or like you know, like uh, what is that, like jungle temp. thirty thirty, yeah, jungle temperatures, right? Um, here it's this very icy chill. Um, however, um, you can see kind of like with the with the rest of the light that's coming in, um, you can kind of see. You can't see what the what's back at the end of this hallway because I don't think any of you have a torch or anything like that. Um, but you can definitely see what I have makes a candle. Up. Yeah. Um, are I you, could yeah, make a torch. You, if you come down, um, yeah, so if someone has a light or if someone has a dwarf infravision, I'll explain the rest of the room, but for everyone else, um, you can only see up to about halfway into this cold room. The The entire floor has a little shivering sparkle to it, um, but you definitely see in the middle is like a half sarcophagus. I don't know what the term is, like a, um, like, like the resting place. You know when, um... Uh, like if like Aragon uh, died, right? Like he's like his body's just, like laying on top of like a. Not, it's not like a closer sarcophagus. It's like kind of just like a little raised thing. Um, mm-hmm. Think of something like that, right? It's of this very ornate, made out of stone and bone. Um, like and there's you'd this have old in, like, corpse. Catacombs? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like an intern kind of. I don't. I'm not really sure. But I yeah, think that's, it's still that's a really sarcophagus. Good point. Okay. I think yeah. It's, yeah. Right. So, but we we all get the picture, right? So like, there's no there's no lid to it. Um, and it, it, you see, there's a massive monster of a man, um, a, a body that's laying there. Its its armor seems to be untouched by the ages, and the same thing with its monumentally huge axe, uh, made out of a metal uh, that's patterned and and a material that I don't think any of you have seen before. Question. Yeah. Would the cold mess with dwarf infravision? Yeah. Would everything look cold? Yeah, everything does look remarkably cold, but uh, in the past this past this uh, body, um, this room seems to be just very very sparse and empty. But there's definitely a passage on the other side of this room. Mm-hmm. But yeah, this whole this whole room kind of has a uh, 
I don't know what the word would be, but um, f almost like a fey like glow to it, like, yeah, like the somber, chilling glow. Like, um, I have very mixed feelings about this room. Yeah. Like Carvel, like, uh, kind of this, like yeah. So, some of you Maybe. like feel bumps and they like, look down and there's nothing there, and then like Carvel's just like at the doorway, uh, Carvel, yeah. uh, and they they reach up and like twist the candle a little bit and it like lights a flame. So yeah. y'all can sort of see a little further. The, yeah. Oh, cool. The, the flame is not extinguished, even though it's yeah. very cold or anything like that. Yeah. It's just, okay. there's something else here. It's, it's, it's supernaturally cold, obviously. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. I mean, I would be fair if one of you wanted to read the inscription <laughs> on the door as well. Uh, you could do that. I'll show the fair. We'll take a look. Let me know what you guys want to do. Yeah. So there's absolutely in that same old language. Uh, there seems to be a large. Oh. Why do I even care? <laughs> Crazy. Uh, so this is, this is as literal as the translation as I can make it. The burning purge which scours the earth, the hardened glamour, stilling life, the baleful storm, heedless to supplication, the raging tempest, devourer from within. Bane's four, I place upon this gate, fire. Ice, storm, and hate. Okay, maybe we shouldn't go in there, guys. Uh, looks like there's uh, curses, and the fire was just the first thing, first mm -hmm. trap. There is also cold, storm, and hate, looks yeah. like. Whatever that means, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, there's probably going to be like an ice blast, maybe some lightning, maybe a little dead guy over there coming to life and attacking us angrily. Yeah, P pretty certain I heard the word treasure in there too. No. No, I, I heard it. I didn't say treasure. Yes, you could have said the treasure. Thing, the thing is, the the, translation I'm, I'm is not tricky. saying. Yeah. I'm saying there's no. I'm not saying there isn't treasure. I'm just saying we should be careful. Yes. I say that axe and armor is one of a kind. Yeah, for sure. Um, there's definitely that axe and that armor, but we should maybe make sure we don't get frozen to death. Make sure we don't get hit by lightning, and Sepulchre. also maybe drop a bunch of holy water on that guy. Is uh, Pennyworth would be like if with, with the idea that there's more traps. Like, is there anything that would that looks like it might trigger another? Like the door was fairly obvious. Yeah. Um. Is there anything in this room just like peering in that looks like it might be something that we could trigger or like? Mm. No, um, you can you can definitely see that there's a thin layer of ice that's kind of covers this entire rather plain room. Um, there's re like honestly, there's really nothing in here except for the body. Uh, with the heat vision, is the body cold? Like the I mean, the oh, room? the infravision wise, oh yeah, yeah, yeah it's it's okay. dead cold. It's the okay. same room as it's. it's Make sure it wasn't like glowing in the, yeah. this very cold no. room. That would be no, no, this is obviously a tomb. Okay. This this room uh, is obviously a tomb. I think there, you said that there's a thin like layer of ice. Yeah. Like, or almost uh, Valero, over the entire surface of this room. I I think Valero would like try, like has a fruit, like a like a, maybe like an apple or something. Yeah. Uh, I think he would toss it onto the ground. Like yeah. through into the room. In, oh, like, like you're he's, he's like you're of... curling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. But, no, but it, just it, like... it's it just slides across the ice. Um, it bounces a little bit and just slides across the ice. Uh, shh, hits the wall and then kind of slides a little bit back. It's a very slick floor. Um, mm -hmm. Nothing happens. The apple comes to a rest. Barson yes. nods and says, "I vote the chicken goes first. Um. <laughs> While you're looking at it, no, I think the apple does begin to get a little bit of a frost over it. Like the more you wait, right? Okay, yeah. I mean, he's that. That was his intent. Like, is is it gonna freeze us if we step onto this thing? Yeah, it's a it's like a slow uh, frost, right? Like first, like the little bit of the dew starts getting on it, and then it starts getting that like Mister Freeze like around it, right from the base of it to the yeah. to the stem, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. And he was like. What what chicken? I don't. And you you turn out and she's got like it in a papoose, but it's she like has tucked its head underneath. Oh. Like, yeah. No, just me here. 
Um, she's like looking around, like <laughs> you can still see it like moving a bit. Yeah. Maybe there's one in the jungle, though. We could probably go look for one. Or a snake. Or a cat. There was that centipede that was under the rock. Are we arguing about who is going to go touch the thing? Yeah. Yeah. I think or- Ilya, like, turns around and goes up, and then she sets her chicken on the ground to see if they can, like, find some bugs for her to throw <laughs> into this trapped room. Yeah. They need a living thing. <laughs> No, you, I, don't, I, I don't know if there's a role for that. No, no. I mean, it's easy enough to find a bug or something. Okay. There, right. Um, right. Yeah. You know, you, you you throw a bug in there, and it, it's mm-hmm. it slides across the the ice a little bit, and then sure enough, um, after after a, like a minute or so, um, it starts becoming less and less uh, active, mm-hmm. and it starts getting that that ice around it, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, then you see it's frozen. So we know that there's a passageway on the other side, mm-hmm. um, but we don't know if it's open. No, you can definitely see it's open. Oh. It, it, there's no door to it. It just, it, oh. it sort of like does one of those like cutting zigzags to the other side of it. So you can't really see the rest of what's what's over there. But um, you can definitely hear the faint sounds of that drumming coming that way. Right. We all just run past. <laughs> yeah, you can try to do that. Um, do Whichever one of you is seeing cold stuff, does the other side look colder or not as cold? Uh, uh, it's all pretty much the same. Just this room. It's just that room. The other side oh, doesn't oh. look like as cold. Yeah, it, it does seem to warm up after after that doorway. But uh, yeah, it's it, if it's a cold curse, it could take some time. Yeah, but we have to be careful. The ice could be hiding. Traps of some kind. Our, our friend, our new friend, did mention storms or hate. Storms and hate. Oh yes, that's not the ore. I forgot that. So yeah. maybe we can get a bunch of kindling and wood and set a fire in this room. Yeah. Just earn our way across. Happens. Let's try uh, it. It, so are there any like were there like um like mm-hmm. uh, like um I don't know like the brazier brought like I don't know how brazier. to pronounce it brazier? Bra- braziers uh like brazier. in the in the tower at all like um, Yeah, there's probably the one. one. Yeah, there's probably one. There's probably a brazier in there. Uh cuz I mean we could take that and like set it down on the ice and see what happens. Like if it's all if it's still lit, like it might give off enough heat. Um, yeah, you could try that. Was, okay. Yeah, I think uh, Valero might go back to the tower and grab one. So you're you're gonna haul you're gonna lug this this thing down here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. You you guys you lug a brazier down here to the tomb. To the tomb door, you get it through the through the stone. Pretty sure, no yeah. one no one gets hurt. It's like... but it's, it's just super. Yeah, it's an, it's really annoying. Uh, <laughs> but you guys do it successfully. Uh, and I like setting it on the ice. Does it have an effect, or does it start to freeze over? Um, the base of it starts to freeze over, but where it's actually hot, um, it seems to like get ice to it but it seems to be almost in balance like the fire is still going but like the it, the ice is kind of like being kept at bay it keeps trying to like get up to it to the heat but it, it can't get rid of it mm-hmm. but uh yeah so now there's also a burning brazier in here <laughs> um yeah and you definitely see the illuminated uh dead body of, of this seven foot tall man there's a straight okay so pure we just need to light it. ourselves on fire and then the cold can't get us uh, I think Reese would pipe up and be like, "Well, I'm stumped." Yeah. <laughs> ben looks to all of you and says, "This is my moment." <laughs> oh no, Ben! I will, I will try to go through first. I'm just gonna run to the other side and let you know if it works out. Yeah. Okay. That's what Ben does, um, and he just runs. He doesn't even wait for people to talk. Yeah. Yeah, As you do that, the shaman's like, "Oh, I bless you! Oh, you're gone already!" Oh, totally. Yep. No, that's perfect. So as <laughs> soon as you start to run out there, right? 
Mm-hmm. Um, make a reflex save as to make sure you don't slip. Um, yeah, yeah. As, as you go across the ice. This is Ben. Um, reflex save. Yeah. What does that it's mean? Dexterity. Just like plus zero for my agility yeah. of eleven. It's cool. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. You um mm-hmm. you you start running across the ice, but uh then you 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 lose it um and uh you you kind of fall on your butt as you continue to slide into the um I guess we're calling it the sepulcher of uh, where the body is. Mm-hmm. Um yeah, you kind of just butt plant and uh mm-hmm. kind of just finish your body sprawled and bump into the thing. Um it's very cold. Yeah. Uh, but you feel fine other than it's just super cold and you just yeah. it feels like you're um, you're kind of having that cold stress response, like if you were dunked in ice water, right? Um, Can I keep moving? Yeah. Um, so you're going to, so you you pick yourself up, scramble um, out there. You're you know well you you pick yourself up, <laughs> and um, as you as you scramble and pick your, and like you do that, like your feet are getting iced over, um, and you're like fighting to push yourself through here again. And so, um, if you're going, so you you pick yourself up, um, you're getting iced over. Uh, are you? And you're gonna try to run out of this room? Is that the plan? Yeah, I'm moving straight, going okay. as fast. Make as Make another, I can. make another reflex save to to do to to run. God dang it! You 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 fall you fall on your 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 butt again. Um, and ice uh, going. Yeah, because oh, your your legs you can't run like like the legs just like your your legs are getting like stiffed. Uh, stiffened and and um, you you, just, you fall again and you 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 twirl you know you tumble a little bit and you stop you can see the other side of the door it's so close to you um, but uh, yeah now now you're like half your body is 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 frozen right now. Um, Osun will be like grab the edge of the the thing and use it to slide yourself. He's too far away. Any, yeah. yeah, someone needs just, to help him now. So uh, iron oh. handle uh, like like. <laughs> St- takes a step back and everyone's kind of like crowded out and like, make a pass! And they go t- and they run and pass. they try to slam into the br- brazier. Yeah. Uh, I almost said the other word. Um, yeah. To sort of <laughs> scatter fire across to like heat a path towards him and also like to run towards him to see if they can't like pull them up with the initial. Like they're basically trying to spread a fire path and then also get to their new friend. Yeah, no, I love that fire path idea, but it's going to be one of those sort of like uh Stages? temporary thing. No, it's going to be one oh, of those temporary okay. things where like not everybody's going to be able to use it because the heat's kind of going to be fast enough, sure. you know, it's not hot enough, but it's totally yeah. fine for you uh, okay. to get over there. Um so yeah, you yeah. you 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 run over there as fast as you can cuz like like each step is like the th- it's like thawing in front of you a little bit mm-hmm. as you're running. Um yeah. yeah, yeah, no, you you totally get to Ben. <laughs> Um, and what do you do when you get to Ben? Ben's like now, like a, his like chest is yeah. is getting frozen. Um, ben just yells out, "Remember me," because he's okay with this being the yeah. way he dies. Uh, ben is wearing clothes. <laughs> is, is Ben wearing clothes? Uh, yeah. Like yeah. so, as the, as the, so, Dragging are they like the hair? Yeah. So they fell, um, and they're yeah. sort of like from the floor, chest up, being being like frozen under this thing. Yeah, yeah, like a thin uh, layer of frost over them. So, right. uh. I uh, iron candle. I'm like, what do, what do I have? Uh, they take their hammer and they spin it around to like the the sharp edge, and they hook it and like try to get through the cloth and like rip the cloth away to like lift their body up out of the frozen cloth that's on the ground. Yeah. To see if they can say pull them free of their uh, their restraints that way. Yeah. No. You 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 pull them yeah. free, but like at, that gets them off the ground. But you see that they're like getting like that. The frost is like returning to them, right? Like it's yeah, just this whole yeah. room. In fact, you like you're starting to feel it on you too. Now that yeah. like the heat is not really. And then there. now that now that they're up, I just try yeah. to like shove us forward to towards that door. Yeah, you guys like, both stumble to the other door. Ben, yeah. you are absolutely fine. Um, if you mm-hmm. were another, if it was another turn, you would have been taking damage. So you mm-hmm. were perfectly per, uh, fine. And now uh, Iron Candle, you're also on the other side of the room. Yeah, and also um, you have no shirt. You have no um, shirt. <laughs> yeah, your shirt's destroyed. Okay. Sorry, Ben. But uh, yeah, uh, no. Okay. Um, what's everyone else gonna do? The the heat of that that heat trail is is very quickly um, evaporating. Maybe one more person could could try. That everyone else is gonna be like rolls to see if it's still there for you. How how would using like the javelins like as like a kind of walk like a not oh, oh. Uh, yeah well kind of but like to get like traction and to just move using the uh, the javelins. 
Is that? I mean, they can't break through the the frost. Okay. I guess maybe they can. Is the idea like using them as like to push you? Is they is well, the ju idea? just as like a well, just because getting so attraction. Yeah, attract getting traction on a tiny point on ice is yeah. actually easy. So they could like hold it and then walk towards the like stick and then like so, so they don't fall over. Yeah, yeah. So you could also heat the yeah, tips no, that's in um the candle flame. Ooh, yeah. No, that's that's enough. Yeah. That's enough for you yes, to push. Um, yeah. So the way this is going to work is that um this this ma this massive sepulcher is basically in the middle. <laughs> Of this room so you can't just like push yourself and like slide your way to the other side of the room right you're gonna have to like it's gonna take two turns to do this basically mm -hmm. right yeah but you can totally um, do that that's fine that's no that's no problem at all yeah i think that's what um uh pennyworth and reese would do yeah um, okay yeah, yeah. and e each time for both of you it's like ha when you get to the hat that halfway point uh like your your legs are getting thawed and then you're like push yourself with the rest of it and you kind of just slide your way out of this room to the other side and then the thaw uh, recedes as you make it mm -hmm. over with uh, Ben and Candle. Uh, Elia takes that Super chance seeing, seeing what they yeah. use and uh, sort of uh, takes a, a pitch for, like a small trident off their back and then like takes another stick and like screws them together and like does the same thing. Pushes themselves. Yeah. Yeah. Any, yeah. Anyone who's able to like push or slide themselves can get, get to the other side. Fuck Okay, right. I think Valero would use his, his would the axe, where is the axe, like... Yeah, that's enough, enough to push yourself, yeah. Okay. Can um, <coughs> Osin use uh, a sword for that? Yeah. <laughs> Some, okay. just can, you need something to give you a little bit of push and leverage, but yeah, you could push yeah, it off. Yeah, Osin hands Valshonda for a sword, and yeah. since she has two and they make it across like that, and yeah. Barrison uses a shovel. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Um, so you guys make it. A, yeah. All right. Is that everybody? Everybody makes uh, it across? Uh, Caval, I mean, yeah. Caval doesn't have a thing to use. Um, I mean, Selbaton had a pitchfork and he died around there. So maybe his yeah. pitchfork's lying around somewhere. Okay. I'm cool with that. Yeah. Uh, I, I'll Plus, a uh, pitchfork is a good weapon. 1d8. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll move a pitchfork into Caval's. Like maybe they disappear for a while and then they come back also with a pitchfork. You're a sh yeah. yeah, you're a shaman of finding lost things. I think it's very yeah. reasonable for you to pitchfork. <laughs> I uh, mean, all three of Jimmy, Timmy, and Abraham are probably gonna have to do a similar thing if this is becoming the go to strategy. Okay. Yeah. Yep. I just want to be clear, nobody wants to interact with the body. <laughs> it's no. the coldest bit, right? <laughs> okay. It's the, the coldness is not emanating from the body. That's oh, in the room. Caval, though he loves lost stuff. Wait, um, I guess yeah. Barsand would hand Caval his holy water. Yeah, uh -huh. I like. I want to be. Yeah, Caval I wanna, wants to mess with that. Yeah, I want to be he very just clear. Loves old stuff. <laughs> the the axe that's in the hands of this thing is worth more than that long sword or those those two mm -hmm. swords that you found. It is um, that is a one of a kind. But it looks like exquisite. frozen, right? And yeah, this... it's it's frozen in the guy's hands for sure. Now, how far away is that body from either end of this place? It's about equidistant, more or less, right? Mm -hmm. Sure, but like how how far? Maybe like twenty feet. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if I mean, if we were, if we made a chain. Uh, <laughs> uh, and like just uh, keep throwing people to it and trying to pry it off and then yank them back yeah um, yeah i would I, that would work yeah or we could tie like rope? make a chain to tie it around it and then like from the distance like pull it yeah. so that nobody's near it when we when we pull it so yeah. like body chain to tie a rope and pull people back yeah and then then yeah. Yeah. This Do way, no one it? gets frozen and stuck yeah. there. You and if, try the, that? if the creature wakes up and tries to attack us all, we can also yoink them back. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, and we're on the right side, so we just run away. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Frank, you had a really good observation as a player that yeah, those that stuff is frozen on this person, so you know that's yeah. going to require some strength to pry that stuff out of there, or some ingenuity. Uh, if you you have something fire, you know, be smart about mm -hmm. it, or just lug the body. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, Osin has oil. Caval has a lit head lantern or head candle. Yeah, so we can just burn it. Yeah. Burn the corpse. 
Um, it is wearing hide, so like it would probably ruin the armor. Uh -huh. The armor is also made of, um, well, it's definitely made of hides of a creature that I don't think you guys know. I mean, okay. as far as you guys are aware, it looks like it's made out of dragon. Mm -hmm. Right? It's got yeah. some sort of like reptile scale stuff to it, right? Um, it's also got a, uh, yeah, and, and then maybe, maybe it's got some like white tufts of it. Maybe it's made out of like mm -hmm. some sort of like other thing. Actually, Whatever, can, it's really nice. It's can really Can Barson nice. just pour his holy water on the, on the corpse's face as he passes it? Yeah, sure. Except I just like, shh, shh, shh. yeah, I think he's going to do that. It just, it, it splashes the, the corpse and the, um, it, it, it's like burns the corpse and uh, then it freezes over. Like then like, the, like it almost like sublimates, right? It splashes, goes psh, like in this, this, the smoke, like the heat and the frost just goes psh. Which means it's uh, definitely The body doesn't right? do anything. Yeah. I mean, it, it's a corpse. Mm. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I think if we like try to, do we have rope to try and pull it off? I have a net. Yeah. We still have that net. You can try. If you want to, uh, if you want to basically break the net and turn it into a rope, I feel like it's pretty reasonable. Uh, yeah, to to get across, uh, since it, it probably wouldn't be long enough on its own. So, yeah. I'll right. put net slash it turned into rope. Yeah, so it's no longer a net. It's, it's a, no it's longer rope. a net. Yeah, yeah. but you, yeah, like if you basically cut a net in half and lash it together, it's essentially rope. Yeah, or a net. Yeah, or a thin net. Yeah. Yeah, I think that they, they like while they were over on the other side, like after they did the rescue, they're like. Was like unknotting it because they're like nets are useful in this environment and like like just like yeah. just taking long strings and retying it together good, good for me so uh yeah so who wants to be the person who runs out there and does it dude's gonna be the uh the guinea pig uh Caval -huh. has the well so are we tying the rope around or are we setting this whole thing on fire uh maybe Should tying we try, the rope we around try what yeah try the rope and yeah yeah Caval will go because they, they gotta see what old stuff is over there. Maybe there's some stuff that people forgot about. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's some holy lint in his pocket. Yeah. Yeah. You could use it to cast burning hands. You are. Our... Right. Caval, you're you're pushed by your comrades to the um to the to the sepulcher mm -hmm. of uh, does, his body. And, does Caval um, have any? Thing to like oh yeah Caval got a pitchfork yeah what so, are you gonna yeah. do what are you gonna so are you gonna try to rest what do you what do you what's your next step here are you gonna try to rest the the axe from this this thing or try to um, hit the body or, or what are you gonna do so I think their goal is to uh like they they've taken the rope and they've already made like a loop around it to sort of initially is it like holding it like this like over their chest like a like a proper um, burial no like yeah like it, yeah it's dead so it's it's like holding it like uh like this right like, like it's this all, like oh. its fingers are interlocked of like okay. and, and like the head is like on its chest if you would and then it's it's so like okay. the head of the axe is there like right underneath the sure. head of the body that yeah. makes sense yeah how it's holding so, it yeah so what they do is they um they expand the loop and drop it around the head of the axe and like tighten it if they can like s yeah. snug it in uh and then they start like looping it around the axe and then around the arms, and then like around the, some of the head, and because they're like, if this axe is stuck to this person, then if we can break the arms off along with the axe itself, yeah. And if not, the whole body comes, and that way we have a friend. Then this we'll person. definitely disarm him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, that's that's brilliant. No, that yeah. um, I think I feel like everybody working in conjunction to to tear this thing. Uh, it works works exactly as you expect. Uh, um, yeah, no the 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 arms come off um, as and you you pull this axe out, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, you know you you pull over this axe. The axe is made of black metal. Um, as you as as you pull it out of the the frost, it it gets rid of it, right? Like the the frost like uh, dissemin uh, disappears and and it leaves this black um, perfectly sharp metal uh rune like runically carved axe um the the shaft is made out of this black wood and the 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 axe head once again is made out of the black this is this blackest of the metals that you've ever seen um i mean us as players i'm willing to share it's made of meteoric iron Ooh. um but i don't know um 
as a dwarf, would I know that? Yeah, you would know that's not from this stone. Like it's not like okay. you know, kind of like not burn from around earth here. and stone kind of thing. Yeah, it's not from here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, totally. I think Iron Candle's eyes just go like, like wide. He's like, I've I've heard tell of weapons yeah. like this, made from stars, metal. It's. Yeah. I never thought I'd live to see it myself. It can never lose its uh, edge. It's like the, the the rumor of it. I spend most of my time underground and in in basements. Yeah. They're just sort of like in, in reverence of this thing. Yeah. Well, um, until we get out of here, it's an axe, and we should use it to keep ourselves alive. So, so this axe is he heavy as shit. Um, no one can actually wield this unless your strength score is at least sixteen. Mm. Pennyworth. Literally, so, no one, no we, one we can to, wield it. We need to get Pennyworth string stronger. It's too heavy and, and unwieldy. Okay, Pennyworth, do some push-ups. <laughs> <laughs> Montage. Yeah, give you my strength. We got a cold room for you to like but, punch um, meat in. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> do you not want to? Yeah. Do you? Um, okay. Do you want to try to get the armor or or not? Um, I feel like that's that, that's that's the trap. Did we get the gauntlets with the hands? Yeah. Wait. Did yeah, no, you had to off? have. You had to have gotten the the. So the, the hands came off. Yeah. The yeah. The the arms. Yeah. Like from the, the forearm arms came down. Off. They came, came down. With, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, you had to break the fingers off of the the the. the what the, if the same thing, but with his legs? So if he comes alive, he has no arms and no legs. <laughs> so you've like basically yeah. drawn and quartered do you wanna, him. Yeah. Do you want to quarter the, this corpse? <laughs> but if we, but then we like, unless it's just materials, at that point, oh, because we don't have gauntlets, dope. If the gauntlets are dope, then we have to get the rest of it. Yeah. How yeah. dope are these gauntlets? Are they they're... gauntlets of ogre strength? No. <laughs> yes. there, there's, oh. there's, uh, that's close, but no, there there's, doesn't seem to be any sort of like special um, trait. You know, there's not, they're not like star forged hide. Like I said, though, it's made out of some strange, um, s like scaled uh, creature that I don't think you guys have, have encountered before. Yeah. Um, what about you trappers, hunters? Can you. Identify this? Nothing, nothing that you guys have seen. I can tell you that right now. You can make a roll okay. if you want to try, maybe try, but like, I can tell yeah. you. Yeah. Well, what about as an elven artisan? Would they have maybe worked with a super rare material before? Mmm, that would be worthy of a roll. If you want okay. hunters, trappers, I'd let an artisan make a roll here. Okay. Uh, and it's just. Twenty twenty plus in. Yeah. Just yeah, that's int modifier. Right. Yeah, that's your your academic academia yeah. speaking. Your your, yeah. your studies. Nope. Oh. So Sean puts his hands on his hips and looks down at it. That's okay. <laughs> I don't know oh, who that is. Hmm. Um with hmm. Frank, who 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 got who got that one? Which one? Uh so who got the thirteen and who got the one? Uh with Timmy and Jimmy. One. Oh. Jimmy got the thirteen, Timmy got the one. Alright. Um so Jimmy is convinced. Okay, so let's. Jimmy is convinced <laughs> it's a basilisk, but like unanimously, Timmy and Volstrandifer both agree that it's made out of a dragon. That's got to be a dragon. What else would it be? I mean, what else would you make to go with this sweet axe? Ba bas basilisk. Basilisk. Uh, You're pretty it's... sure it's black dragon hide. No, yeah. it's got to be black dragon hide. This thing is probably worth oh. a lot of money. Reese, or actually, let me see. What is it? I like that you both wrote so well that you both are in agreement that it's you know yeah. you're both wrong, but that's absolutely yeah, it's, it. It's so wrong. Um, I think we should get it. We should get the rest of this armor. Let's first, because then we'll have armor. And and Eli's like, first we could take its legs off, and then we could just haul the whole body back. That is a good point. We should also probably take its head off too, and then we—if mm -hmm. it does come to mm -hmm. life—we'll have like just the head. We can pull its heart out, and it'll out. be amazing. It'll be so funny. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think my trio are once again taking like a slightly defensive position <laughs> at the other end of the time. Like, like as they're discussing, like kind of like not prodding, but like just kind of seeing what's next. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the the only professionals here, like. Let's, All right, let's do it. Oh, let's fine, take yeah. Every ounce of treasure we can out of this place, no matter the dangers. And you're like, <laughs> excuse me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, no, you um you you follow After this path we've seen. <laughs> um you, you follow this path um that, that sort of like crisscrosses um through through this little I mean it's almost like this is not even a um this used to be like a formal stone, but now it's been um kind of eroded. You see like there's like roots and stuff that have broken through. Um so rather than it being like a clean, crisp lined path, um it's just sort of the zigzaggy, almost natural uh path until um, you get to an intersection. Um, and I think the first thing that ca really catches your eye here at this intersection is that um, there's a, there's these staircases that are glistening with um, a little bit of shine to them. Not in the same way that like the frost was, but there seems to be something like on these on these stairs. Uh, like something like treasure, perhaps. It's a good thing Osin's not there. Um... Um, the closer you, I, I, if you guys are, if no one's stopping, um, uh, I mean, see, they're going to, they're going to stop at the stairs for sure. Yeah. There's definitely, uh, uh there's definitely the hint. Yeah. There's, there's gold. There, there seems to be gold on the, here. Like gold pieces. Yeah. looks like gold pieces are scattered all over these stairs. Uh, I mean, I feel, I feel like I'm, I'm trying not to play my characters too much as like an actual group because we don't like know how they know each other. But like, yeah. I feel like the three of them like all give each other the same like side eye glance of just like, like, mm -hmm. re like, nah, like, no, nah, <laughs> like, no. And uh, I think Reese would be the one to like, if you could get to like with his javelin, like try to like flip one of the coin, like just like move it off one mm -hmm. of the stairs. Beware the storm. Yeah. Um, there's three pieces of gold on these stairs. It's just straight up like nothing happens when they no. move? No, no, you 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 pick them up. They're they're they look looked like they were they've just they don't look like they're they're covered in mold or anything like that. Like they look like they're pretty new. Like they were um they haven't been down here very long, is what I'm trying to say. Like something was coming yeah. through there and it just they fell out of their yeah. pocket. Um up that up that staircase um, you can start smelling. Um, so let me let me describe it before I make a new little uh, card for you. Um, so you guys are kind of at a a plus sign kind of intersection, right? Mm -hmm. um, to your left are stairs leading up. Um, leads to the there's the smell of that tower um, from before. Um, across the way is there seems to be a um, uh, a like a vault door that's been swung open. Um, you can't really see what's behind it yet. And then to your right, there is um, some staircases leading down to another stone door um, that doesn't have any... Um, you know, there, there's there's no, like, runes or markings on this door on, like, every other door you seem to have found underground so far. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, right? So that's, that's where we're at right now. Okay. Um, I think they would kind of start making their way back to the group. Um, but, like, kind of... Um, like spread out enough that they can still see each other but kind of keeping a line to where they've been and to where they're trying to get back to so like you know like not just like the three of them all going back to the group like maybe Valero is closest to the, the new area that they've been into and then Reese and then Pennyworth is the actual one at the group when they get there yeah i don't know what i'm trying to say like they're kind of making a line yeah yeah is it so what's what are we interested in looking at here everybody fam what's the way to go uh, were any of us still in the back room trying to get that armor i thought we were yeah yeah we're yeah. trying to get the armor oh okay no you, we're you're able to pull you're it able, piece by yeah, piece you do you do <laughs> okay. you end up you're pulling it piece by piece yeah. um yeah i yeah, so I'm, uh, who does it's, it fit? It's hide armor. <laughs> Osin raises her hand and says, maybe we can try to get that on Pennyworth, given that they are kind of by default in melee with that their sword. Do it, Penny. I think mm -hmm. like as you like are saying that, Pennyworth walks up and is like, mm -hmm. what? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Don the armor of destiny. You got this, um, Pennyworth. Uh, can my shaman do anything to detect if it's evil or not, or is it just like the prevalence evil here too much to filter through? Are you, are you talking about like the armor and the yeah the, the to see if it's cursed to see if there's curses right. on our new completely 
so that's many try licking them. You can try, but like th <laughs> yeah, that's outside the, yeah. the the realm of things. Yeah. Um, your char I don't think your character is very risk. I mean, your character makes tactical risks. Mm -hmm. Um. You want you probably oh. think it's not cursed. You might think it's cursed. You're not really yeah. sure. It's, they I mean, just, based I on what was hit, read, like, be careful. You're not sure if the armor's cursed or just going through that room is makes you cursed, mm -hmm. right? But there's definitely um, curses. Okay. Yeah, I don't think Pennyworth is particularly like bothered by curses, like. Yeah, she's a glove. She's a um, glove maker. She doesn't yeah. have a lot to lose. So nobody can <laughs> wear that hide armor right now Aww. because it's kind of like way too big for all of you. Because none of you are seven foot tall, bear monster men, mm -hmm. right? Yet, mm. maybe it'll attune to Pennyworth and then Don't suddenly shrink. <laughs> so. All right. At and least, at least we know it's valuable. But it's extraordinarily I mean, valuable. Yeah, I mean, it's made of black dragon scales. Oh yeah. So yeah, so there's this there's this vault in front of you, some stairs going down. Anything uh Uh I think we should check the ones going up first. Yeah. Says the wizard boy child. We, we do want to maintain the high ground as Abraham? much as possible and by eliminating the high ground that's above us. Yeah, Abraham, you, you go up the stairs and you see it's the same staircase that leads into the tower that you are dangling from. At the start here. Great. We have another exit. Oh, that's good. We don't have to go through the cursed room again. <laughs> Maybe we should, uh, you know, even yeah, though yeah. someone might come up and steal this stuff, we could just, like, not carry stuff and put it up here if it's too heavy to carry this axe. Or we could armor. put it in the cursed room to keep it safe with the just, curse and just then just pull the, it out. Just inside. Yeah. Curses you and your idea. Yeah. So you're, you're going to part with it <laughs> in, the, uh, in that room over there? That's up to Pennyworth. Okay. Uh, I think Pennyworth likes the idea of keeping it in the cursed room. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, well, that sounds good. Cool. I mean, these beast men have been coming through here supposedly, and they haven't messed with it, so right. it'll probably be safe in there. What's the next room then? Let's want to look this. the vault. You want to look in the vault, uh, or do you want to yeah. go? Or you want to go down someone, the stairs? I say vault unless someone has a other idea. I say we all step back, ready any ranged weapons we have, and then have someone who's very brave yeah. try to. I thought it was up. already open. The the drumming uh, is is heard still faintly, um, echoing deeper beneath this this place. Is so. the vault door open or closed? It's already it's 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 like half open, right? Like it looks like it was lazily closed. Mm. Um, you it's can definitely, jar. yeah, it's a jar. That's the word I was looking for. It's a for. door, but you know, jar is a vault. Um, uh, yeah, it's I mean, a treasure jar. <laughs> the trapper boys will go open it if we need yeah. someone to guinea pig yeah. open it. Osa yeah, and Needle Shaw uh, both like at the ready. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a whole splattering of coins on the floor. You look like the, this place has barren shelves. This vault has, uh, you know, pretty barren shelves. Like there used to be, like little stone cubbies where boxes were probably kept. It looks like they were taken, but this place was, um, whatever wealth that was um, originally amassed here has been probably moved. Um, this kind of falls in line with what you were thinking about the, the stuff that was moved um, in the tower in the first session. Um, but there's absolutely coins around, um, all littered around the floor here. Mm -hmm. um, furthermore, um, there are still three chests here um, that, that, that are like opened that they don't seem to have anything in them. Okay. Right. But there's certainly like three chests in the back here. That Jimmy and Timmy like. might s slip a coin or two if they think they can get away with it into their hats. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's um, it. But then we'll share most of it. <laughs> but, um, so what... Do you are you looking for the gold or the silver or the copper coins? Because it's it's all denominations here. Whatever looks the most the most valuable, valuable is gold for sure. Well, then yeah, yeah okay. I'm gonna pick up a, whatever they can pick there's up. Six, there's six of them. Do you um do you pocket? Do you split them evenly, or is it one of them? Is it the luckier one that finds the gold and hides it from the other? <laughs> uh, the lucky one finds the gold and gives half of it to Timmy. 
Oh, okay. So Jimmy, so Jimmy's nice. Yeah, okay. Jimmy is nice, and then okay. Timmy just mumbles. This is goddamn it. Yeah. And then uh, <laughs> there's um, yeah, yeah. There's there's a couple more silver pieces and copper pieces laying around here for everybody as well. But um, yeah. Like I said, there's those chests in here. Um, and that's that's about it. It looks like the wealth that was originally in here has been moved. So they sweet. spread most of it with people. Oh. It's whatever. We should, you know, we could probably just leave this here until we come back after clearing out the beastmen down below so we have less Fine. jingling around in our pockets so we can be sneakier. No one take our gold, though. What gold? Gold? Gold. We have this gold. I, we're going to share it. It's <laughs> it's for everyone. <laughs> yeah. We're but gonna... we'll keep it here. Oh, yeah. Like gold, we should probably keep with us. That stuff's valuable. <laughs> yeah. Make your mind. I didn't know that we had gold. I just saw the silver and copper. Mm. Okay, well, we'll keep the gold. We'll put the rest here, and then we'll go down the up the stairs. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool. Now I'm getting now I'm you getting nervous. You said there were three chests here still unopened. No, they have been opened. Oh, that have been opened. Okay. Yeah, all their contents have been um, spilled out, like spilled out on the floor here. Mo- you know. Most of their contents have been taken away, but looks like mm-hmm. maybe something was left on the floor of these these Sorry. chests. Right. I think Iron Candle goes and like like pokes the bottom of each chest with their club just in case it's a false bottom that they just missed. Yeah, or it's totally. a mimic. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or it's a mimic and it snaps your, his arm off. <laughs> um, Iron Iron Candle's beard twitches on the second um, chest. There's definitely a compartment here. Uh, trying to determine if they're they're greedy or not. They are a dwarf, but I don't want to typecast. Uh, <laughs> I think they uh, yeah, they sort of like like look around and like take the club and just like hit it on one side and then try to like slide it over. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's a it's a it's a hidden compartment. You ha- it's like a false panel compartment. Yeah. Okay. So like you can't really like hit it. Mm. You know what I mean? Ugh. I, I, they what? I should. This is mumbling to themselves as they like bend over and, and look inside the chest to what try to open that. Compartment. Yeah. I just. I, I'm. I'm not sure yet. Uh, so yeah. Do um, you need any help? So yeah, you're. I don't, I don't, oh. So you're just gonna open the panel. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah, and his um, face is really close to it too. So yeah, uh, make a make a reflex save for me. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. Uh, iron candles. If you can weather the storm. Is um so it's just is dexterity, it agility, agility. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. I wanted to make sure that he was being greedy and punished for it. Yeah, 13. but uh, so the reason why I bring that up is because sometimes um, I say reflex because not just agility because sometimes your lucky star things af- uh, affect your saves. Oh yeah. Uh. Mm. Probably not. All right. Um, cool. that's not enough. But uh, this is a good point because this is this is an interesting teachable moment. If you want, um, do <laughs> yeah. you want to burn luck? Because you um, can burn luck after a roll before it's resolved. And then I um, lose the luck it. forever, right? Yeah. Um. And I don't know what the DC is. Uh mm. no. No, I think it should probably. It's probably fair to tell you. Uh, it's okay. a fifteen. Okay. So you want to um, burn? You want to burn two luck or, two or something? Yeah. Hmm. I don't expect them to last long. Uh, yeah, I'll burn two luck. Yeah, I'll drop cool. it down to six. Yep, cool. So you you, yeah. you burn two luck, and it's uh, probably you... burn two luck or die. Yeah, yeah. You 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 um you pull your 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 hand like your your beard twitches again. Like maybe the hairs yeah. on your neck stand up, and yeah. you pull it back as and and uh, you see like some slicing uh, blades uh, come out and would have yeah. uh, chopped your hand off. It's like oh, mm. flashbacks, and he like touches where his mustache used to be. Yeah, just, oh, it just doesn't yeah. grow back anymore. Oh, um, that's perfect. Yeah, <laughs> um, but um, after you know, you know that once it's it's done, it, it's it doesn't reset. Like it's 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 out. Like the side blades are out, so you know you're you're okay. safe. And so you, you you break them off or push them away, and yeah. uh, you inside the compartment, uh, you find a pair of silver rings. Um, oh, as well. Should, uh, yeah. So okay. so who is whispering to me? Which one of your people? Osun. Osun. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So uh, there's more too, by the way. Yeah, okay. So for, for Iron Cannon, like, immediately, he had, like takes one of the rings, and he's like, if you would do me the honor, <laughs> and he just, like, hands you one of the rings. 
Aww. She looks and, and kind of actually a bit touched. <laughs> you seem like a good lass. And he like pats you on the shoulder and then like he pockets the yeah. other. Yeah, pocket. Yeah. Uh, but- um, there's a uh, there's a little silk. Um, what would I call it? Uh, like not like a handkerchief. It's a little bit bigger than that. Okay. Um, it's not a flag either. Uh, it's like a bandana. Yeah, something like something a little bit bigger than a bandana. Um, there are and- square scarves, so it could be. Yeah, it's it's yeah. more like a scarf. Um, okay. yeah. Uh, actually, I think I like the idea of it being more like a, a square scarf. Um, and it obviously has the eight-pointed symbol of chaos on it. It's a white scarf with a red <laughs> symbol emblazed on it. Mm-hmm. Um, there's definitely um, two vials containing something. You're not sure. Mm-hmm. It's this this black um, viscous fluid. Mm-hmm. Um, Seems healthy. Yeah. Who knows? Well, that uh-huh. scarf would match my necklace. But those maybe the uh, shaman knows what those black vials are. Yeah, it's and possible. They're over in the corner, like talking to a bug. And like, like yeah. as you say, Shaman, they like they snap their head towards you. Uh, kind of like yeah. stand up to shuffle forward. Yeah. So um, uh, intelligence to see if they know what's in these black vials, or should I tell you yeah. how I'm? In- okay. No, no, it's intelligence because <laughs> yeah, this is this is like plant matter stuff, so this okay. seems pretty reasonable. Um. Uh, yeah. You know, this is some sort of like alchemically done to some some plant matter. Okay. Right. Fifteen. Uh, Perfect. Yeah, yeah, that's enough. Um, so you know that this stuff is 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 comes from um, it's black lotus oil. Mm-hmm. Um, basically, um, there's there's a rare flower in the jungles of Cholt, um, specifically, and um, there's there's a there's a valley that that this likes to grow in. Um, mm-hmm. anyways, um, you know that drinking it um can basically. I think the rumor is that there used to be a tribe of people who uh, Black Lotus, yeah, can seem to gain three mana. That's exactly right. <laughs> no, um, Black Lotus oil is used to be given to um, warriors before a battle. Mm-hmm. They they get them like psyched up, and um, it's said to get, make them invincible. Um, so you know that is it's it's sort of like a um, it's more than a healing agent. Mm-hmm. It's a uh, it's not it's basically. Like juice? Yeah, it's it's like berserker juice is probably the okay. best way of putting it. It's basically All right. PCP. All right. Yeah. Okay. Cool. 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 Yeah. All right. Pennyworth. Uh, mechanically, mechanically, <laughs> um, you, you if you imbibe one, you take a uh-huh. dose, you gain an extra temporary eight hit points for an hour. Temporary eight hit points. Temporary no temporary okay. hit points <laughs> for an hour. Okay. Uh, a variable amount. Okay. All right. Yeah, because I'm like, if it's eight hit points, good God, that's yeah. eight times stronger than something. Well, it's a D10, so I mean, it's oh, might be yeah. worth it. Yeah. Uh, and then you suffer the consequences. Ooh, I'm sure that's fine. Nasty yeah. hangover. Yeah, it's a nasty hangover. Yeah. Diarrhea. Totally. Yeah. So, so I uh, think I think uh <laughs> like he he sort of like hands these out uh, and he keeps the ring, and the shaman has the two vials and uh, they sort of sort of like set them in the on the floor and then like back away from them and like steeple their fingers and like see who comes to get them but yeah. um uh iron candle uh puts the puts the silver ring on and then sort of like like looks at osin real quick and it's like ha, 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 mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah cool uh, um doors and elves <laughs> wouldn't that be funny uh, mm. i don't know my great aunt was married to a dwarf oh Oh, okay. His face goes a little pink, and he's like, "Oh yeah." Oh. <laughs> um. So the vials are just on the ground. Yeah. Yeah. They just like, <laughs> and, and they're back both. And... They're both the same, like PCP. Yeah. 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 yeah they're uh, I think I think both Pennyworth and Valero like go like and grab one like without like missing a beat like, <laughs> oh yeah no these these are for us. <laughs> Oh, for sure. Okay. Um, where should I be noting? Like, I'm like just adding to like character sheet stuff. Yeah, um, I've just been putting it on my sheet. Yeah. All right. No, that's fine. Uh, just note it somewhere. Okay. Once again, once we're level one, I'll, we'll have actual character sheets for people rather than just this mass character sheet. <laughs> right. Awesome. 
so I wouldn't sweat it. Let's go down the stairs. Yeah. So there's that door, right? It's it's a sealed door. It needs to be uh, either bashed open or forced open. Um, what do you guys, who who does what? Is the handle of the great axe big enough for two small people to use their strength with? Yeah, if you want to use that as a battering <laughs> ram, uh, that's pretty reasonable. We, uh, okay. Barsand also says that we could use his sh shovel as a sort of makeshift pry bar. Mm. Yeah, you totally could do that. Would be quieter, probably. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I kind of like rubs it off. She's like, this place is full of traps, though. We should be careful. And then, like, like stands against the wall. Barson holds his shovel over to Jimmy and Timmy. They take <laughs> it and go open the door. <laughs> uh, what are we going to do when they die? I'll have less characters to play with. Let's do it. All right. Uh, strength, <laughs> strength check to open the door. Cool, 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 cool. From one or two or what? Uh, two people, right? Because you're both doing it. So roll two yeah. times? Got it. Got it. They're so not strong. Oof. Not not enough. That was Timmy. <laughs> was this the shovel that you were using? Yes. Yeah. yeah, that shovel's fucking broken. That's the problem. Pong. Uh -oh. It's bent and out of shape. Jimmy. Not enough. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Um, hey, you guys, can, you can this spend some time broken. bashing. Yeah, you can spend the time bashing down the door, but um, yeah, your shovel's fucked. Well, I uh, hey, your guess I don't fucked. have a weapon now, Barson says. You... Uh, I think Pennyworth would hand you a javelin. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you kindly. Yeah. Well, that's all we got. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, they back far away. Yeah, no problem. So, um, mm -hmm. Does it look like it's... Like, does it have a, a locking mechanism? Or is it just like a solid... No, it definitely uh, looks like there's a locking mechanism. Okay. Uh, I think Elia steps forward and she uh, she reaches like under the chicken and uh, and pulls out some thieves tools. And then she's like, she whispers to the chicken, no, you're not going to need these right now. Somebody else can do it. Uh, and and then she yeah. uh, says, is, is anybody is anybody good with uh, these? Kind of like unfurls like and it's a bunch of lock picks. Uh, who's the most <coughs> nimble among us? Um, Good question. What, what would they... Um, My characters are probably? so average. Well, Shondafer has a 13 agility. Mm. Yeah, I don't have any buffs for agility. Oh, negatives. <laughs> uh, I guess Phil Shondafer will go. <laughs> yep. He's, he's terrified. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Whoa. and as Elia hands over the thing, she's like, "You're never too young to learn a new trade." Well, well I mean, Sean defer to her. my um, old trade was uh, shoveling shit, so hope so. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Quite literally, oh, no. literally. For what? Yeah, he's he like crouches by the lock. And then, like, right when he's about to start picking, he's sort of like, <laughs> yeah. And uh, Elia stands like <laughs> the door, like, and she, super care. She's oh. like, Mumu Chan can help. And then she like holds the chicken out, and it just like walks and like looks at you, and then mm -hmm. looks at the lock, and then looks at you, and bucks a couple of times. Oh, thanks. Hold, that's that's some good advice. Yeah. He Glad changes. It. He like shifts his feet to like get yeah. ready to jump back the second like <laughs> any noise is made. Mm -hmm. 17. That's more than enough to, to, to get it. So good job. Yeah, like right when he hears the click, he like just leaps back. Thieves tools like above his head. Uh, Mumu Chan seems very proud of you. Thank you. <laughs> Hands the lockpicks back. <laughs> Takes yeah. them to me and like slides them into the thing and like covers them up with her feet. Yeah. Gets back in the papoose. Yeah. So the door opens and uh, revealing this dark, damp chamber. Um, it is this very, very wide, wide chamber. It's almost like a hall 
uh, with some stairs leading in the end. Um, and the, your stone steps that you descend in this very, very, very long hall, uh, flanked on the other side of you are these massive mur uh, murals uh, depicting horrible uh, and rituals and, and, and chaotic uh, demons, essentially. Um, and the walls are all here are slick because in the middle of this is this large uh, brackish um, pool um, in the center here that's just been kind of stagnant. And I think we're going to go to a break real quick, and uh, we'll talk about what's going on in this room on the other side. So don't go anywhere. We'll be back in six minutes, y'all, and uh, we'll see you on the other side. Uh -huh. 